44 days from today, the 2012 Toronto International Film Festival will kick off, and we are certain you will be excited by what we have in store for you. We're certainly excited. We're also thrilled to be presenting the world premieres of two Canadian galas. Rubenada's Inescapable, starring Marissa Tomei, Joshua Jackson, and Alexander Siddig, and Ruba is here with us today. And Deepa Mehta's Midnight's Children, Deepa and cast members Anita Majundar and Zaib Sheikh are here with us today as well. Uh, can Ruba, Deepa, anyone from those two films please stand up and be acknowledged? Where are you? Right here. Right. Congratulations. We're really excited about your film. We've been following it closely to begin with. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what Inescapable is about. It's um, a dramatic thriller about a man who's uh, an Arab man who's been living in Canada for Toronto for 25 years, and um, one day he finds out that his daughter, uh, unbeknownst to him, has gone missing in Syria on a on a trip, on a detour that she's taken. And he has to go back and desperately try to find her. And part of the reason why he hasn't been back in 25 years is tied into why she's gone missing. Um, so yeah, it's a, a little bit of a departure from my last movie, but it's very, very excited. I'm very happy about it. I read somewhere that you wanted to, um, you, you have a wonderful father and you wanted yeah. to highlight how wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, because, you know, the Arab men get such a, a, a negative rap in I think North America and I I just I'd made I'd made so many movies about women that I thought it's time that I tackled the a more masculine subject <laughs> um, but uh, it, it just the story just happened very um, organically I guess and, and you have Alexander Siddick again. He's so lovely. Yes. And Oded Bear, did Oded I read that Bear, right? isn't it? And so you have extremely gorgeous, right? <laughs> and Joshua Jackson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yes. I mean, you know, what I was. Is that thanked. a prerequisite? Or? <laughs> well, you know, it just kind of happened. But I mean, for me, like it's always. I mean, Alexander. Um, I gave him this script when we were shooting uh, in Cairo for Cairo Time, my last movie, and so I already had like I was already plotting. I'm always plotting with my actors and so um, but I got thanked a lot on set <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's it was it was fun <laughs> is this um, do you think this film will shed a light on what's going on in Syria right now I hope so I mean you know it's not it's my, my, my job as a storyteller is always to tell the best story and then kind of uh, like the surrounding you know if I can get a couple of points in there I do I try I mean it's not a I'm not I'm not making documentaries, so for me, the original story was always about this father and, you know, how, how, how you know, you come to Canada, you can create your own past, you can create a new life, but he still has this past that's kind of haunting him. And so, and part of that past is very much tied into um, his life in Syria. And so it's like, I tried to get in as much as I could about Syria, but at the same time, it's cinema, it's a story, and I, you know, it's there's only so much I can do without turning into ex turning to exposition but um, yeah it's like it's 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 not like a political political animal but it's uh, I think it's a universal one because it's like about a father whose daughter goes missing and he'll go to the end of the earth trying to find her and that doesn't matter if you're Syrian doesn't matter if you're Canadian doesn't matter if you're American it's, it's a very universal theme and a very universal storyline. And just for my last question, um, you are one of two Canadian films doing the gala, yes. and, and they're both by female directors. Canada's very female director friendly. I know. How do you feel about the... Uh, so proud, because it's so, I mean, being a woman in this industry is very, very difficult. Like, it's very difficult to get your first film off the ground as a woman, difficult to get second, third. Um, but the thing that's so wonderful about this festival is that they so supported my last movie. They're so amazing. And now what they've done again is just a real, like, it's just amazing. Like, you know, I can't change my sex. So the best I can do is go out there, make the best movie that I can, put my guts on the screen. And, and it's just, so it's just coming here and having this kind of support. It's just a real dream come true, I think. Women. Um, are you looking forward to them this festival? 
And it was a step forward for women. I don't know if it's a step forward for women, but I think that every film that's directed by a woman is a, a heroic achievement, and that we have two being presented as galas, one by Ruba Nada and one by Deepa Mehta, is an amazing, amazing thing, and I just wanted to see, I wanted to hear more hoots and hollers from the crowd. I was thinking, why aren't we on our feet, you know, and I'm sure they're in the last stages of their post-production, so there were no clips or anything like that ready, and then I started thinking, everybody who's here is working. It's a, it's a very official sort of moment where people are getting the information they need to go out and do their job. So it's not a party atmosphere. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. People have barely shot back one coffee. So you can feel the energy in the audience was that of work. But inside, I was cheering. And everybody around me, I know, was, was internally cheering because it's huge and great that we've got Deepa and Ruba with films. Gallows. Yeah. Now, you're very popular at the festival. Um, you're, you're, are you breaking your tradition this year of putting a film in every year? Um, I hope you're going to see something uh, from me at the festival that I have produced. Oh, now I'm very excited. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the two Canadian films that were announced, both by female directors. Uh, can you speak a little bit more about that? Yeah, we're really pleased to have both of these filmmakers back who've been with us before. Deepa Mehta, of course, has been with us for many, many years, going back over 20 years uh, with her films. Midnight's Children is probably the biggest scale epic that she's made, adapting the Salman Rushdie novel, a, film, a book that is very hard to adapt. It's very complex, very layered. She's found a way into the heart of the story with the full participation of Salman Rushdie. It's a beautiful film, and a film that I think is, is as relevant today as it was when the book was first published. And then uh, to have Ruben Nada's new film, Inescapable, is also a big deal for us. First time she's played as a gala uh, selection, but uh, she's been with us with Cairo Time um, for that. Um, she's a really interesting up-and-coming filmmaker. She's working um, in a, very much on an international scale. This is a story that's set in Syria, largely partly in Toronto, partly in Syria. Working again with Alexander Sadiq, who's in Cairo Time, um, and Marissa Tomei, and, um, and Josh Jackson, and some very good Canadian actors as well. It's, uh, it's uh, hugely timely as well. It must have taken her years yes. to create, but yes. all of a sudden it, it really worked. Well, Ruba has a uh, family background in Syria, so she's very uh, connected to what's going on there now. And has been working on this story for quite a while, so I think she, she understands what those changes mean. Mm. Um, can you, is there... Is there anything you can tell me before the press release coming up in a couple of weeks about Canadian films? Um, you can be as broad as you want. <laughs> I think what I can tell you is that it's as strong a Canadian selection as ever. Um, it's a particularly strong year for documentaries. I think you, you can look forward to seeing some very strong Canadian documentaries in the lineup this year. Some new filmmakers whom we haven't had before. And then some people, as always, who are coming back with their third or their fourth film. It's going to be in a fairly wide range from across the country as well.